Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Data Saver on Google Chrome. Basically, I have two options for you. The first one is via internally Google Chrome. And let me just kindly remind you that if you're using a laptop, a desktop, a phone actually, and even a tablet, it's perfectly the same process, so stay tuned at the end of the video. If you're using a Mac OS, it's perfectly the same to a Windows OS, the one I'm using right now. Anyway, let's get started with The first one is going to be internally via Chrome. So first things first, please hover your mouse on this three dots right here. Go to settings, hover your mouse to privacy and security right there, and then go to site settings. And then just hover your mouse a little bit and look for images. The thing here is click on don't allow sites to show images. That's the thing to save data on Chrome. Now, if you're using a internal plan, for example, there's no data cap, there isn't really a reason for you to remove this one, okay? Anyway, for those with uh, limited data, I suggest do this to save data when you're using Chrome. Anyway, let me just get back here because actually I'm on a limited data plan. And let's just open a new tab right there. Make sure that the thing earlier is go back to normal. Perfect. Again, that is the first step using internal via Chrome. Next step is go over to your settings right there type in data usage okay overview on this next step is you can't really um how do you say this isolate savings or savings on chrome only we're gonna save everything we're gonna use data saver on all applications okay with this one just click on properties and then make sure that this is toggled on set as a meter connection and set a data limit to help control this usage and then simply click on data user right there and enter a limit right now you can choose via monthly, one time, or unlimited. It's really up to you guys, okay? This is the second and last option, how to save data on your Google Chrome. But on my end, I actually don't need it, so I'm gonna put it back right there. And that's it. And that's how you save data, usage rather, on your Google Chrome. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.